What's up, y'all? Got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. All right, y'all. So we about to get into um, Jay, which is Krishan's ex friend. Apparently, they are into it right now. Why? Mm -hmm. But they are into it. Y'all keep spamming it to me, so I'm gonna react to it. Um, and we just go from there. I already know a couple things, but I want to like hear it myself. This is the timestamp of when this she started talking. I know he's so cute. I was actually always there. Exactly. There is no messages. No. Oh, Jake. also because of Marsha's messages, allegedly. The heat is not on, Kia. Uh, also because of Marsha's um, messages is why she went live speaking about you this. You are a fake friend. I'm not a fake friend. I was actually always there for somebody that bullied me. So I don't know who was fake. I was just trying to be as real as I can. And it's like, come to Hollywood and try to act fake. And it's like, I'm used to this Hollywood. Shit. I'm from here. I'm, I brought you to the scene. So it's like, y'all mad? <laughs> y'all mad that I had the sauce to put on to blow up. Now, we're going to stop right there. For one, her, Krishan bullying her, absolutely a fact absolutely a fact and i don't know why y'all surprised because a lot of y'all are like they need to leave Krishan alone Krishan is a new person yes she is but unfortunately you gotta deal with what you gotta deal with so it's kind of like a, a grow through what you go through Krishan was bullying jay and marsh very badly okay so i will say um jay's right to speak at some point because she was getting bullied i'm sure she get messages all the time Everybody talking about, you know, involving her and whatever's going on. That ain't got nothing to do with her. She's right as far as I'm concerned with speaking about herself. Okay? Just put that out there. Oh, okay. Let's not forget. Now, oh, her having a sauce. Huh? Now, I don't know if the sauce was to put her on the blue face. I don't know who put her on to blue face. I do know that Marsh was talking to blue face's brother first. And I guess Mar uh, Marsh might have put, <clears throat> no, Blueface's brother put him on to Krishan, if I'm not mistaken, which I don't think that had nothing to do with Jay, but I'm not sure. Jay was her oh, manager. Okay. okay. Just kidding. <laughs> Cause they already got them. Yeah, see, I don't do no the the drugs and all that. Like, I come from a background of drugs. So when I see people around me doing drugs and then they try to like, oh, you're always so negative. You always say how you're going to throw up if you drink. Oh, you always say how you're going to have anxiety if you take this ecstasy pill. Like, because I don't want to do it. Okay, so she ain't wrong for that either. Now, I don't know if she just felt the need to let that out, but, um, baby, I'm not taking no drugs. People always, you know, not try to get me to take drugs, but want me to do things that I don't want to do, and it's not happening. They'll laugh at you because you ain't, I don't care. I'm not doing it. Uh, I don't know why she's speaking about that now, but. Like, you want to do it. You're miserable with your life. I'm not miserable with my life. I was happy. Now you're not. Happy <laughs> before I met you. It's like every time you come into people's life, you just try to take them down with your life. Like, you're miserable with your life. Like, we're not miserable with our lives. Leave us alone. Stop calling. Stop calling. If you're trying to reach me, call me. Don't call Kevin. Like, he got a girl. Like, leave Now, her putting K Suave in there gave me very much... I'm on this side, so I'm going to take up for this side because I just don't feel as though we had to know that Krishan was calling K Suave. However, I will say I feel like Krishan feel like she's cleaning herself up or has cleaned herself up now. She feels as though she wants to talk to him. 
which I don't think she should because he drank lean at least 24 hours a day. I don't know how many more days it is in, in, in 24, but he drank lean consistently. He's a consistent lean drinker. I don't even know how his liver is existing over there. Okay. And in, in them kidneys, but, um, it's just ironic that she's speaking about drugs, but K Suave do that every day, all day. I don't know if his brother does. Don't seem like it, but K Suave be on that. Sh um, but I don't know why she exposed that. Uh, I don't know what that was about. Like, don't try to lie either and be like, oh, we're trying to call Jay and try to tell your baby daddy, like, none of, like, none of that, bro. Nobody wants you around here. So it's like, take your negative energy and all that, like, out somewhere where, I don't know, put that energy towards something else, something positive, like how we are over here. Now, I'm going to say this. If y'all don't remember, when Krishan was talking to K-Suave, a lot of negativity started uh, going around because Bluefus found out he mad, trying to beat everybody up, trying to beat her brother up. And I mean, it was a lot. Beat up Marsh. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like Jay has the right to say some of the things that she is saying. Uh, and I feel like Marsh has more that she could be saying um, when it comes to Krishan. Because y'all, she wasn't the best friend. She wasn't. And I know a lot of y'all don't want to hear that right now because she's doing good, but at one point she wasn't, okay? So we still got to talk about that. And they're still going to want to talk about, you know, their story. So that was just a breakdown for y'all because I'm tired of y'all just being in my face. <laughs> so moving on. What's up? What, are, what else do y'all want to know? Janet, why didn't you convince her to help Junior? I did. My cousin is a specialist. Like, I did. I did the best I could. My cousin works with autistic. Ooh. Absolutely was not her place to speak on Junior at all. Shouldn't have never came out of mouth. Something she should have ignored. Because you may have an issue with Krishan, but what is your issue with Junior? I just don't think she should have said nothing literally at all concerning that. Y'all, um, some things that are understood shouldn't have to be explained, but also we're not the guardians here. You get what I'm saying? It ain't nothing we would be able to do about it either, right? Clearly she said it, nothing she was able to do about it, whatever. Bro, it wasn't none of your business, none of your nothing to come on here and say anything concerning him. Absolutely not. <clears throat> Even when you beefing, no. No. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -mm. She works one-on-one -on -one with all kinds of children. It don't matter if you're autistic, if you're not, if you're a regular child. Like, we offered the help as much as we can. Like, my cousin is literally has her BA in all of this. It's like when people are in denial of stuff, it's like you can't help people when they're in denial of what's actually going on in reality. Like I get, oh, we're all prayed up. We just have faith. But faith comes with work. You just can't have faith and just sit around and have faith. She's it's like correct about that. Work in too. Like that's how God is going to repay you. If you put the work in, not just gossiping around other people and be like, oh, whatever the fuck you do and gossip around and sit around people all day and judge them all day like you are not god so it's like if you trying to judge over here we could judge you and you probably gonna get the shorter stick at the end because you did worse shit than us and we was just backing you up and to be clear on some other shit, i didn't fight tifa for krishan i fought tifa because she was beating on marsh so it's like oh that's my friend the fuck you're bigger so that's just to clear the air Hey, Daddy. What up? I missed you. Well, I was going to show them the room and everything, but it's I know you. I... Girl, she turned into a whole different human being when that man came through the door. <laughs> Look at this. I didn't fight Tifa for Krishan. I fought Tifa because she was beating on Marge. So it's like, oh, that's my friend. The whole... You're bigger. So that's just to clear the air. Hey, Daddy. <laughs> I missed you. Well, I was going to show them the room and everything, but I know you. 
Mm-hmm. I know. That's what I told them. I said that you wanted it to be uh, like how you want it to be. I was trying to show them because you already got that. Bitch. Girl, I turned into a whole different human being. That is me all day. I need help. Um, all right, y'all. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Absolutely um, feel as though she should have left Junior out of the conversation. Um, I just don't feel like it was needed at all. Clearly, she felt like it was needed for whatever reason. She was warranted to do this. Um, ain't no telling what happened. I don't know if she was triggered because he keep, uh, Krishan keep calling K. Suave, which has nothing to do with her, but she's going to take up for her man, you know, her man's brother, I just want y'all to know that I am done with this video. Let me know what y'all think. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all.